What's up everybody? This is AC and welcome back to another edition of LA Sports Live. You guys see the thumbnail, you see the title tonight. The Lakers on the second game of a back-to-back -back will face the Detroit Pistons. But we just got some information coming across the wire. Uh, uh, I saw it via Twitter, Mike Trudell. Lakers sideline reporter reports that uh, Anthony Davis will not play tonight. Um, I think they said he had a thigh contusion or something like that. So it, no AD tonight against the Pistons. But the good news is um, Kyle Kuzma has been named the starter in his in his in his place, and that's a good night. That it's a you know it's a good thing, you know that uh, Kuzma will get a chance to start in his hometown. Um, that's something that has happened uh, what twice on his road trip already um, in Chicago uh, AD and THT got to play in you know from the home crowd in Chicago and you know the Lakers kind of force fed both of them and gave them a little extra run and AD showed up with a great game in Chicago and um, of course the great LeBron James returned to Cleveland and uh, you know went stupid on them himself and so hopefully I'm really hoping that um, Kuzma can get the start tonight and drop a 30 piece drop a 30 piece on the Pistons and get the win now I want well, the number one priority is getting the win but uh, I'm hoping that uh, Kuzma can have a good showing in his hometown and uh, not saying that he's playing bad but maybe that will help boost his confidence overall now of course you guys know the Lakers are coming off that tough very tough one point Lost last night against a very tough Philadelphia 76ers team. Um, I picked Philadelphia as one of the favorites to come out the East. Um, based upon that matchup I saw last night, uh, that's a tough matchup for the Lakers, but that's nothing to be concerned about. Uh, that team cannot beat the Lakers in a seven-game series, and that's just the bottom line. That's it. That's all it is to it. They they can't. So losing one game to a team like that here and there don't mean nothing. Now, so uh, that was a disappointing loss, and um, hopefully the Lakers can bounce back. I'm pretty sure they will, but uh, but they Detroit at this point is pretty much a doormat. But they would be very happy to beat the Lakers. The Lakers let their uh, guard down, and if we give them opportunity, they would be very happy to beat the Lakers and uh, give us a, a two-game losing streak. So the Lakers better not lose sight of that. And better not sleep on the Pistons. Um, um, you know, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. Now, that game last night, man, that was a disappointing loss. Uh, the Lakers almost came back. Um, uh, it, to me, the, the comeback should have been secured if Vogel had switched that lineup a little bit earlier, maybe a minute or two earlier. Time wouldn't run out on us, and we would have pulled that victory out. But... Uh, I, you know, I'm not going to get in too much to how, what I feel or how I feel about why we lost that game last night. But I'm going to just let you know. This, just like I did DG last year, I got a problem with... Uh, uh, shit, I forgot his name. But anyway, you, you guys know the guard we got from uh, Milwaukee. I got a problem with him, man. I'm not for sure why he's getting so many Matthews. Yeah, I got a problem with Matthews. I'm not for sure what the love affair is with Frank Vogel and Matthews, man, but plain and simple, he's not getting it done, especially on the defensive side of the basketball, and uh, I don't know, but uh, that'll be for a separate video, but anyhow, the Lakers will be playing in a couple hours, a few hours, and that should be a good one in Detroit, and like I said before, hopefully Kuzma can get off and throw, throw down at least a 30-piece uh, on the Pistons tonight. Anyway, this is your boy, AC LA Sports Live. You guys do me a favor, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel, and I really appreciate it. And I'll wrap with you guys later.